Good morning, everybody. How are you? So, wow. It's Saturday. I have no kids in the house. It's pretty awesome. Um, so yesterday was mine and my husband's six year anniversary. Um, we've been together for, I don't know, 372 years. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Yeah, so we've been together for 11 years, married for six, as of seven, seven. <laughs> um, then we went out to dinner to Carlos and Johnny's. And yeah. Anyways, so it was an experience. Um, you're probably like, why do you have that pink thing? Well, I've got two. I'm kind of all over the place because I got to get going to the shop here soon, but I need coffee and I need food and I need to get to the shop, but I want to wash my face off because I feel like my face needs washed and my eyes are doing something stupid. So let's do that first and then I'll tell you about dinner because, <sighs> well, it was dinner. Oh yeah, and these thingies help keep the water from running down your arm. But there's headbands. Y'all know me with my big ass head. Um, there's headbands that come with them as well. They're cute, you know, they got bows and shit. Well, your girl got a massive A massive head. There I got some of this noxema in my eye. Um, your girl's got a massive freaking head and it doesn't fit. It's my life, so I'm pretty used to it. There we go. <sighs> I love the smell of Noxima. Like it it's just it's just me, I think. This classic clean baby. Mmm. Love it. Let's rinse this shit off. get into Carlos and Johnny's while I do the rest of my face real quick because I know you guys are dying to hear probably not really you probably could care less but the fact that you're here means everything so thank you all right so Carlos and Johnny's is down in Cincinnati um, on Montgomery Road okay I don't need these anymore Yeah. Maybe I got kid size. I don't know. Probably not. No. <sighs> Anyways, um, so Carlos and Johnny's down in Cincinnati on Montgomery Road. Okay. Um, valet was amazing. They're really nice. They were a couple of really nice guys. Um. Neutrogena Hydro Boost. 
That's what I'm going to use. Hyd hyaluronic acid. <clears throat> but anyways, so we get to the valet. Actually, we pull up first. And this place is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's a really, it looks like a giant house sitting on a hill, right? Like there's signs out by the road. They got like a really long driveway. Um, and it's just, it's really pretty, right? And I'm like, oh my God, what did I do? Cause I made the reservations. So, <clears throat> um, we get there almost a half hour early and I'm like, I'm not about to just like go to the valet and then stand in the foyer forever waiting for a table. So we, <laughs> we bust a Yui and um, we go over to the Chevy dealership because it's right across the street, so why not, right? Um, <clears throat> we start looking at a bunch of Jeeps. No, I'm not getting a Jeep, but a girl can wish, right? Um, why is everything? Fuzzy, see? Now everything's super fuzzy. So anyways, um, uh, so <clears throat> I get, or we get there. Um, we like, you know, we spend a couple minutes at the dealership just to kill time, right? So we're looking around, looking at Jeeps, whatever. And then we go back and we're like, screw it. We're going to just go in. Maybe they can get us in a little sooner. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> so we get there, the valet guys come around, let us in, or <laughs> get us out of the car. We go in, check in and everything. And she's like, okay, she's like, um, your table will be ready here in just a few minutes. I'm like, okay, cool. So we sit there, or we stand there, look around. Like the place is super pretty. So, you know, they have like a giant mirror. And honestly, if there wasn't four people standing at their table to like check people in, I would have probably took a picture of us, but well, me being socially socially awkward, I didn't. Um, Cause that's what others have done in the past. So, um, so we get our table. Um, so the guy's like, you know, right this way, you know, so we're walking through and mind you, my husband and I were not big fish people. Like we're, <laughs> we're just not. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me. So we're going through the hallway. <clears throat> we passed the really pretty bar. We're going all the way to the back of the building. It seems like. Um, and we like get smacked in the face with a bunch of fish smells from the kitchen. And I'm just like, mm, mm, mm. um, yeah, not a fan. Um, so I, I try not to, you know, judge a place on the smell because they serve seafood, raw seafood, um, steaks, you know, they, they serve a very good variety of things. Now my dog's gonna start. So I'm just like, don't judge a book by its smell. Don't judge a book by its smell. So we sit down, the smell's not too bad, but we are literally right behind the kitchen door. So every time they open that door, it starts all over. I'm just like, so yeah, um, not their fault. They didn't know, they didn't ask. Um, so I, uh, hold on. I had apparently looked up the wrong menu because Carlos and Johnny's is actually owned by Jeff Ruby. And I messed my eyebrows all up. Look at that. Yep. Um, it's actually, uh, it's owned by Jeff Ruby, 
but um, the place that we went to is Carlos and Johnny. Um, and they all have different menus apparently. So I didn't know that. So I had my heart set on a specific steak um, because we, <clears throat> my husband and I tried to go out to a restaurant, a really nice restaurant once a year. I think I'm good. Um, once a year and try something new, right? No matter, no matter the price, well, to an extent. Eh. I know I didn't put makeup on, but I still like this stuff. Elf Dew Coconut Setting Spray. It just smells good, leave me alone. So, um, oh yeah, and by the way, I have the, don't mind that janky ass sticker, but all of this, I love it. Makes me feel good. Um, I'm gonna take you guys out of my bathroom. <laughs> So I gotta let the dogs out, I gotta get food and coffee. So anyways, um, so we're sitting there, you know, the waiter comes up finally and he's super nice, super nice. I like this guy, 10 out of 10, right? I don't remember his name, so don't even ask. But um, anyway, so he, you know, told us, he, you know, happy anniversary, which was pretty awesome. Um, oh, <laughs> not going out in bubbles like that today. Um, he told us happy anniversary and all that. Uh, and actually that thing made my hair look a little better. <laughs> Anyways, um, <clears throat> told us happy anniversary and everything. And... Stop. Go potty. So he, um, you know, told us about the menu. All right, guys. Wow. Sorry. My dogs went a little crazy uh, when uh, when I let them outside. So I had to cut the video uh, because they couldn't mind their own dang business like normal and you're at a like little weird angle so it's weird <laughs> it looks like my arm is so dark but anyways I'm going to McDonald's I'm literally starving um so yeah <laughs> oh man this video I don't even know probably won't post it because it's off the wall. Oh damn, Donate Blood is at the firehouse. So fun fact is I am O positive. So I can help everybody. But I didn't know that they were, I didn't realize that they were gonna be right like three houses down from my house. <laughs> Um, anyways, so yeah, Jeff Ruby's, um, so like I said, the waiter was really nice, um, and all that, like the, the staff was really nice, um, yeah, so immediately we ordered, we both ordered ice water and a Tom Collins, right, because I always want to try others Tom Collins especially at like fancy places because what if they have an amazing Tom Collins then I'm gonna miss out well this was like like my husband said it was like they added too much Tom and forgot Collins um, it was straight gin with ice <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we both took a drink because I was super excited about it. I love Tom Collins. I could not, could not drink it. Like, it took me a second to drink what little bit was in my mouth. 
Um, I'm like, mm, no. So then I, you know, I waited a minute. I drank some ice water. And I'm like, let's stir it up, you know. So I stirred mine up for a good probably two minutes. The glass isn't that big. If you know what a Tom Collins is, it's just very tall, round glass, right? So I stirred it up. You know, the color did change a little bit. It's more now of like a, an all lemonade color. Um, oh, yes, there's not a long line. So, nope, there's like six people pulling in right now. So they, um, uh, we're going to go right here because that's what I feel like. Um, so anyways, so I started it up and everything and I try it again and it was gross again. It was way too much, way too much, way too much gin. So my dear old husband took mine and drank it so at least it wasn't a waste um but yeah mm -mm. so my husband decided to order an amaretto amaretto sour and that was actually really good but by that time i was just kind of over it um i was starving i was ready to eat and it just took him a minute to get orders going so then hold on Hold on. Hi, welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? Hi, can I get a number seven with a large Coke? And a number seven with a large Coke. What's that number seven meal? Yes, please. Uh, what sauce would you like with that? Uh, no sauce is fine. You don't want, uh, no sauce? No, thank you. What would you like to drink with that? A Coke. A large Coke. A large Coke? Yes, yeah. Does that order look right so far? It does. And then yes. I can I just add a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit? And a bacon, egg, cheese biscuit? Yep. Bacon, egg, cheese biscuit? And that'll be it. Down for a bacon, egg, cheese biscuit, then a number seven with the large Coke. Is there anything else? That'll be it. Yes, ma'am. That is going to bring your total to four dollars and seventeen cents. Thank you. You're welcome. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I ordered the boneless ribeye. <clears throat> oh, hold on. McDonald's apparently is pushing everybody to go park before they bring their food out to them. Um, they have every spot open, or not open, every spot filled. So they had to wait two for two minutes for two cars to leave so that I can pull forward. Why? Why have cars pull forward? Why not just... Unless a couple of people probably had bigger orders, that's probably why. You know what? Ever since I started using the hyd hydronic acid, I'm, I know I'm saying it wrong, 
but is ever since I started using that along with the moisturizer and the eye cream my face is looking good like this is no filter no nothing I just got my hair re-dyed or not guy I just re-dyed my hair you can see that in the other video <clears throat> but yeah it's looking it's looking good and I just have chapstick on and I'm working on my eyebrows sorry I keep thinking that she's going to come over here so um, I know a lot of people probably don't want to be on people's videos so I don't really want to put anybody on here without them asking. <sighs> Today has been a day and a half. <clears throat> But yeah, back to Jeff Ruby, cheesy Pete. I would try to finish this whole story in one setting, but I'm trying to get things done too. So anyways, um, yeah, so I ordered the boneless ribeye and then we got grilled asparagus and cream corn, truffled cream corn, um, to share because their portions are large. So you can just get one or two things and share them with your other person or with a couple of people. Um, my boneless ribeye was good. Was it delicious? Phenomenal and breathtaking? No. Have I had delicious, phenomenal, and breathtaking? Yes. So, to go 40 minutes out of the way, you know what, you know what I'm getting at? Um, it was an experience, like I said. I, I don't regret it because at least we tried it right that's my whole thing in life you just gotta at least try it once if you don't like it don't go back easy as that um and we won't be back for a couple of reasons a the smell just not our thing um we understand that companies or businesses no matter how big or small they do end up you know they do cook different things and, um, so that's fine, but we're taking it for our personal opinion and what we feel. Maybe ventilation would be a little bit better or some could be a little bit better. Maybe not. I don't know. I'm, I'm you know, obviously not an architect or an HVAC person. Um, so anyways, for that reason and just... You know, the Tom Collins and, nah, it just, I guess the hype on the reviews, and I went through a shit ton of reviews, the hype on the reviews wasn't there, or I mean, it was there, but not there with us. Have a good day. Thank you, you too. Baller, let's go. That poor girl has been running her butt off. McDonald's, give her a raise. I know y'all probably seen her maybe right here in the corner. Anyways, so my favorite still to this day is two places. Um, one actually bumped up 
in a spot because <laughs> it used to be Pine Club. Um, Pine Club was where it's at. They have they have phenomenal steaks. Um, the thing that I don't like about Pine Club is how dark it is there. Um, so when you go <clears throat> from the street, what are they doing to Starbucks? They sick. Mm, don't tell me they're getting rid of Starbucks. Maybe they're getting a makeover. A makeover. Oh my God, I hope not. Um, I haven't been to Starbucks in like a year, so. Anyways, so, um, the hell was I just talking about? Yeah. So they, my number one is, uh, Fleming's. Okay. I say Fleming's because we've been there twice now. Twice or three times? Twice. It is pricey. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> But the staff, the environment, the food, the drinks, literally everything from the moment you walk in, I don't want to leave. Like, I feel at home there, which is weird because it's a restaurant. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love it there. Um, everybody is amazing. Um, so yeah, uh, we, like I said, we've been to Pine Club, I think two, two times, maybe three, um, and that place is good as well. Uh, phenomenal, no, but they are good. Um, delicious freaking steaks. Um, staff is really nice. That is where I met my love of Tom Collins. So they make a mean Tom Collins and it's freaking delicious. Um, so Pine Club and Fleming's is where it's going to be probably for a while with my heart, which that's perfectly fine with me, but I will try other places. Um, we just go, like I said in the beginning, one fancy place a year. So that was it. that was it. So yeah. So now I'm going to boot, scoot, and boogie because I got 10 minutes to go to the freaking shop. I had to wash my face. Um, get 10 minutes to go to the shop and then the kids will be there um, I think in about two hours. I think my husband's mom said that she, why is there a flag pulled? against that pole. Did it fall? Did it break? Oh, you have a green light. Anyways. Um. Huh. Poor fly. It's not on the ground or I would pull over and pick it up. Uh, it looks like maybe the pole came out of the ground because we have a company that comes by. You can order flags for the year and they'll come by. It's called the Optimus Club. They'll come by and put flags in your yard like on the edge of it for holidays, Veterans Days, things like that, uh, which is really nice. I wish we had a flag in our yard permanently, like make it like a little flower bed. That would be really awesome. So we probably will do that now because I think that would be great. <laughs> Maybe put that right by the tree where the, or right on where the tree was. I don't know. But I'm just going to go now because I'm just going to end up starting rambling and then people are going to like, this girl doesn't know shit how to make a video. So, you know what? No, I'm just going to leave you on here. We're going to tootle downtown. Um, yeah. I'm going to open up that. Yep, donate blood. Today is trash day because 4th of July was on Tuesday, so holiday messes everything up. Not messes everything up, but you know, it, it just puts everything off a day or two. <sighs> yeah. So, yeah. Petting 
Tang Zoo Dunk Tank Vendor Craft Fair. Wow. Huh. Apparently a church, three houses the other way from me, is having a petting zoo and all kinds of stuff. I'll have to look into that. I think the kids would love it. Love it. Unless it's when we go to Tennessee. <laughs> Unless it's when we go on vacation, then they won't even know. <clears throat> Cross the street when there's a green light. Okay. I love coming down here because it's so wooded as you can tell on both sides of the street there's so much woods so much woods so many woods <clears throat> and right next to my shop there's a creek that goes right down it right next door and right over here like you can see me pointing right over here there is um, a horse farm horse farm horse stable They've got a bunch of horses that come out. They should be out here soon. It's only 10. Um, I think they come out like 10.30, 11 o'clock or so. So. That's really cool. I should have took an ibuprofen beforehand. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Don't judge me. I know it was stupid. Leave me alone. All right, let's see if I don't drop it. All right, guys, so I'm here at the shop. We've got three minutes before we open. So you like all my molds? Molds for days. <laughs> all right, um, if you've stuck around this long, thank you. <laughs> if not, I understand. Um, I would have probably hung up on me too. So hung up, we're not talking. I mean, I guess we could have probably been talking, but so, yeah, I hope you guys have a great, a great Saturday. It is Saturday, right? Yeah. 
hope you guys have a great Saturday and I thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. I'm almost to 40 subscribers, which, um, I think is pretty awesome. So hopefully I get two more. That would be dope or more, obviously. Um, uh, thanks. Bye guys.